Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives and uh, we're here today with Tofty again and uh, you're going to show us a little bit about the uh, bag range that they've got sitting out here at uh, Drifter. One thing I love about Drifter are the bags that they've got guys, they're good quality bags and uh, they've got a bag that pretty much fits anything uh, and they go all the way through to the Oztemp bags to, you know, for if you need to replace a bag and uh, they've got bags that uh, you can use for camping and storing all your gear in as well and I thought we'd get Tofty to talk a little bit about them and show us what you've actually got here mate. Yeah, no worries. Robert. So yeah, so bags are a big part of the business now and it's interesting because canvas, you know, traditionally really strong in Australia yeah. but went through a lot of a hard time because it became almost, you know, very hard to, to make it. A lot of people are getting stuff in from China and other countries obviously where it's cheaper labour but somehow we've managed to bring it back. You know, Luke wanted to make sure he's passionate about Australian made so we do our own in Gloucester so there's a bunch of ladies there, they call the bag ladies so yep, yep. no tongue you know, no, no <laughs> pun of those guys, but they do a really cool job. It's it's a big uh, part of the business, and it's you know you look around here. We'll have a look at it soon. Like I've probably got forty or fifty thousand dollars worth of bags here, so it's hard for them to keep up with all that all the time. All the different types of bags you've got. Luke's always introducing a new bag, yep. so um, I'll give you a bit of an idea. Like so, a lot of people in the past would come to us and and want a bag for a camp oven, or um, we do an Oz Pig bag. We do bags bags for a lot of other companies that aren't all just our stuff, but just to try and help customers, you know, look after their gear. Because you spend quite a bit on your gear and you want to make sure it's it protected. gets looked after. Yeah, we, we've got one of the uh, camp oven bags as well, guys, and they're really good handy and uh, let you put stuff away. And the beauty too, we find with that, like they're just a camp oven bag, is uh, sometimes they're not always the cleanest of camp ovens. Yeah. And uh, you chuck it inside and it gets it gets stuff on anything, everything else. Whereas this stuff keeps it inside the bag and it's all nice and clean that way. And everything else outside doesn't get dirty, eh? Exactly. So. I think one of the key things why this has actually been successful is you normally get a bag with whatever it is you buy, I won't name any brands, but they generally give you a crap zipper. They don't put any money into the bag. Yep. Whereas we've sort of done it differently. Like you get a really high quality YKK zip, you get good quality Australian canvas. And I think that's the difference. So I know it's not cheap, but it's actually good stuff. So the, the, the bags, are, uh, one thing I've noticed about they are really good quality bags. Um, I, have, I remember watching a video there ages right? ago where Luke, um, where somebody actually damaged the bag, and Luke was, you know, kind enough to actually go out and replace it for them. Yep, send it back. We'll yeah, so look after it. And I think it was actually someone had either rubbed it or a dog had chewed yeah. it or something like that. So and, uh, it was great. So this so, was a ooh, bit of, in, you know, uh, innovation from customers. So people had said, look, I've got all the bags now, but we were tagging them, we were putting name tags, all sorts of stuff, and then someone come up with, well, why don't we put this clear top on it? And other people have done that in the past as well. But again, people tend to sometimes do that lesser quality sort yep. of stuff and then you have issues. But I've found for myself, I have my drawers. That makes a huge difference because I can walk up now and go, yep, that's whatever it is and that's my uh, air kit, that's my coffee kit. You can see it. You can see so it all straight away. That's a really away. important thing. If you're moving a lot and you're travelling a lot, you like to know where everything is. So those uh, clear tops are popular. So you've got those in a number of different sizes. As well, yeah. so it's not, but not just one size, there's a number of different bags no. that you carry. So, in a those. lot of our draw ones now have got that. We even do uh, in our range now. I'm not sure if we've got some here, but we even do like clear sides. So the evolution of it, that's where we did the tag. I see. I um, see. But again, if you put that in your truck yeah. and then you've got something sided around it. Yeah. So we have in the back of my dot now, I've got this front wall clear. Yep. So where it goes, I can I see. see it. And if you know what you've got there, because we were doing different colours, all sorts <laughs> of things. We've tried lots of different ways, but that would be the best. I, I sort of like sometimes Luke gets to the point, you know, the whatever bag. Whatever bag. So that's just a, like an oversized uh, pencil case. But basically, I see a lot of people now putting like their little air um, bits in there, cutlery, all sorts of things. So all those little things make it pretty cool. And yep. all of this is really just to make your camping experience better. better. Yeah. So I think out of something that was sort of 
started off as probably a bit of a pipe dream because you know bringing canvas back to Australia and making it in Australia yep. is pretty out there. What, what? But if you have a bit of a look, like we'll pan around, like we got so many bags here. So you'll see all the bags they've got sitting over here, guys. There's a whole pile of them. So the beauty is you can come into this store and uh, they've got stacks of different Pizza bags. bags. Well, this is our Patriot bag. So we get a lot of um, customers buy Australian-made trailers. So Patriot's an Australian-made trailer. Uh, one of the things that they say is they'd like a bag. It's a bit of a unique, the way that's built on the side. Yep. Because we can custom everything. So we've made a bag that actually suits that trailer perfectly. You can fit four of them in the side. Everyone can have it named. So you and your partner and your two kids, there's all your bags. So all that sort of stuff, like our beach bags, all sorts of stuff, shower bags. Shower like, bags. So these were cool. This was, again, customers. Now, this is this is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, like this, this, this is something I really like. I actually got one of these, and I use it when we go camping. So the Velcro pops out, and this part you can whack in the shower. Yep, hang her over the shower rose so put or that whatever you use. Yep, exactly right. You and can then, put all uh, your gear in there. Put the gear in there, and then Velcro's back on in there, doesn't it? Yep. So that when you head back, you know, and you, you want to just put everything back in there, nice and secure. That's and a really popular bag. And you can actually use that, share that with the family. Yeah. The whole family can use that bag. Exactly. Uh, which is really handy as well, guys. And a lot of these bags you can double up. Like if you're somewhere and you needed, as you know, today we do a shopping bag, but if you take that insert out, that becomes a shopping, shopping bag, bag for that trip or whatever. You so know, you one of the bags purpose. that I really love, mate, is this one over here. Yeah, milk crate bag. The milk now, crate bag. So just a disclaimer, we actually get, we buy these milk crates because yep. you're not supposed to steal them. Yep. So we know lots of people out there have got milk crates, but um, that's my, one of the most popular bags. Mate, you know, uh, we use that for all different types of things. We put some of our cookware in it sometimes, or maybe if I'm heading off on a small trip, you know, by myself, I'll go and chuck in you know, maybe my clothes or some blankets or, you know, it, the, the uses are endless, aren't they? Yeah. Different types of uses for different types of things. I'd never really used milk crates before, this to be honest. No. And when this bag came out, I actually carry a lot of food in those. I, I use it because what I like is that if you get it out on camp, you can put it underneath. Yep, exactly and right. Things can't get in there. Yep. Whereas a lot of other, you know, uh, yeah. things happen. That was the other thing too, eh? We went and whacked our uh, our food in one of them. And when we were off on our trip, uh, possums came through one night and they couldn't get into it. It was all zipped up, sealed up, couldn't get into the bag, which was really handy for us. You know? yeah. And it's light too. And when you when you empty it, you can actually pack that down quite well yep, and, and yep. dual purpose it. A lot of our boot liner stuff has helped us too so lots of those plates, your cups, all that sort of stuff. If you put it in this boot liner material I can show you nothing rubs or scratches inside of here. So this is like our LED light ones. Great. So you can throw your lights in there. There's heaps of room. So stacks of space in them, eh? Hey? But also the best part about it is that um, they're not expensive, the boot liner ones. It's, yep. it's a pretty good material to use and it just stops everything from rubbing and yeah. getting scratched. Yeah. So guys, um, they got a, a huge range of different types of bags here. Uh, a good way to, to find some of the bags is to go online. Yeah, have a look and see yeah. what you want. And sometimes people get really caught up with the name of a bag, but you can dual purpose a lot of these bags. So you might have a charcoal bag or um, I know like people, this is like a sleeping bag bag, but then people will also use that for a dirty clothes bag on a big trip because it's got a nice, you can just throw everything in there, zip the top up, keeps that those uh, dirty things away, all that stuff. So sometimes don't get caught up in the name of a bag, but all of them are size. That you'll notice too, we've gone away now from plastic covering. We're yep. trying to be a bit more environmentally friendly. It is harder then to try and stack them, ship them, move them. But obviously we're trying to look after the environment. So something uh, else that we've found useful as well is when we used to go camping, uh, we would have uh, all our stuff just chucked in the back of the trailer. And uh, so now what we've actually got is we've got most of our stuff sitting in the drifter bags and it keeps everything really organized. Yeah. So when we arrive in the camp, we essentially we pull everything else out of the out of the camper trailer. It's all in its bag. We know what's in it. We put it into the spots where it needs to go and you can get everything sorted out. And when it comes time to packing up, same thing, they go back into the bags and you pack it away and it's all nice and neat. Exactly. Uh, so it's really, really handy for that type of stuff as well. So bags have obviously changed the way 
way we do a yep. lot of things in our camping. But it is actually, like you say, I'm a bit the same. At home, I can put them in a shelf like this. And if you have it in those bags, especially with the clear fronts now, yep. I know where ink is and what it is. And the other things I've got marked on there. So it just makes it easier. And all of us, not everyone can get out there for a five or six week trip. And most of the majority of us are only doing those quick weekends and where we get a few days off. So the easier you can make that, the more you're going to go and do it. So exactly it's right. easy, you get out and do it, don't you? Exactly so. right. yep. All right, guys, so that's been of use to you. Um, I'll uh, put some video, obviously, as we've been going through this. I'll show you some video of, of the different types of bags we've got here so you can have a look at that as well. I uh, hope you've uh, appreciated um, uh, Toppy taking the time out here no worries, mate. and uh, showing us some of their range as well. And uh, we will catch you next episode, guys. No worries. Thanks, Thanks for that. Guys.